On Saturday afternoon, the suspected Chinese surveillance balloon was shot down by the U.S. Air Force fighter jet as it floated past the Carolina coast, about 60,000 feet above the Atlantic Ocean. They shot it! The balloon violated U.S. airspace, first flying over Alaska and Canada earlier this week. Then it crossed back into American airspace in Montana before passing over several states and then to the North Carolina seaboard. The president addressing the issue earlier today before the balloon was destroyed. We're going to take care of it. The balloon causing tension between both countries. On Friday, the Chinese foreign ministry calling the balloon a civilian airship used for scientific research like collecting weather data. The Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, pushed back, postponing a trip to China over the spy balloon. We concluded that conditions were not conducive for a constructive visit at this time. Pentagon officials initially advised against shooting down the balloon over land due to the harm or risk to people on the ground. I ordered the Pentagon to shoot it down. All right, thank you. As soon as possible. They decided without doing damage to anyone on, on the ground. That the best time to do that was when I got over water uh, so within, our, within our 12 mile limit. I don't think the two sides are going to have productive bilateral meetings at this point. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Former CIA analyst Gail Helt, who says U.S. and China relations are tense. China is not happy with the United States right now for several reasons. Uh, there was a uh, a memo leaked by an Air Force general last week where he's speculating that the U.S. and China will be at war with each other in, tw in two years. Uh, the Philippines and the United States just recently uh, uh, came to an agreement that was going to allow um, the United States to have access to four additional Philippines naval bases, which are basically allows the United States now to kind of encircle China militarily. China has yet to respond following the destruction of the balloon. Now, despite...